Dada, ye mate wana obe o Dada, ye Welcome back to my channel today. Today, um, well, if you haven't um, subscribed, guys, please do so. Welcome to everybody new returning um, subscribers. Yeah, welcome, 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 welcome. Today's video, we are going Independence Day. What I mean by that is that today, yes, guys, if you don't know your history, today. Ghana gained 65 years of Independence Day. You know, Independence Day. So, um, the legend Kwame Nkrumah, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, gained Independence Day for Ghana uh, 65 years ago. And today is the anniversary. And we are just going to talk a little bit about Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, some fun facts about him that some of us didn't know. Uh, certainly, there's quite a few things that I didn't know. Uh, and I thought it would be selfish to keep it to myself. So I wanted to come and share with you guys. I thought it was really, really interesting, some of the findings that I found. Um, this guy, to me, is incredible. The things that I've read, the history, um, and the things about him, is he's incredible and uh, he was the first ever president of Ghana um, and he pushed and pushed and pushed through for us to gain Independence Day and that was 65 years ago. So guys, um, join me while I share with you fun facts of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. For those who don't know, Kwame Nkrumah stands out in African history who played a, a large part in the founding of the Pan-Africanism movement. During the continent's prolonged struggles with the Western uh, imperialism. So even though he was heavily blamed for a lot of things, Kwame Nkrumah and his administrative still kind of like, you know, held it all together to bring Ghana to uh, independence. So like I said, here are just some of the marks that he left behind, not just in Africa, but also globally as well. So number one. So guys, some of these things I'm going to read out anyway. Uh, number one, it says Nkrumah government initiated a program that was aimed at bridging the education gap uh, between the country's southern and the northern communities. Number two, his administration has over the decades proved to be one of the least corrupt in Ghana uh, has ever seen. Nkrumah advocated socialism and undertook many development projects that aided in turning Ghana into one of the most influential states in Africa. If you guys know about corruption in government, um, in politics uh, and all of that, um, they're saying that he tried to avoid that and do things the right way. The next word says he was extremely, extremely vocal in his campaign against graft and made constant cabinet reshuffles uh, and also went on to suitably after uh, the ruling party structure to eliminate corruption. I think corruption was something we were strongly against with. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's that's quite impressive. The next one is Nkrumah was once a preacher, guys. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't know if any of you know that. Uh, Nkrumah was once a preacher, and he eventually earned a degree in theology uh, while at college and was found of preaching the word to Presbyterian black churches in New York and Philadelphia. That was something that I didn't know. Man of many talents, right? That's something I didn't know. Uh, the next one, his close association with radical idealism attracted the attention of the FBI and he was consequently placed under close civilians for his remaining days in the US. Nkrumah also returned to the UK where he had previously gone to apply for student visa from the US Embassy. 
This time he was seeking admission to study at London School of Economics. This guy has done it all, like honestly, quite impressive. So the next one is the colonial government apprehended Nkrumah, apprehended Nkrumah and the other black political leaders on the 12th of March 1944. He was afterwards quickly exonerated and was freed one month later. Things you have to go through to be a president, Charlie, it's not easy. So yeah, that was, that was, that's quite a few um, facts about facts findings of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and the other thing I've done a video previously um, on fun facts of Ghana I've done a video on the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park guys and also I uh, indicated and showed you guys if you want to go back and watch it I'll drop in the description box below um, uh, there was a fun fact about how his wife was brought into uh, the Nkrumah Park uh, to be next, you know, laid next to the husband. Uh, so there's two graves under the sword um, at the Memorial Park. So if you want to, there's a detailed uh, video on Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park that I've done, and that also showcases other fun facts that I've not mentioned in this one. So please do go check it out. Um, and yeah, as usual, please subscribe, share and comment. And I shall see you in the next video. Stay blessed guys and enjoy your holiday.